Hi everyone, welcome back Samsung Galaxy S11 leaks are bad as we are getting approaching end of year we're getting more and more technical stuff regarding Samsung next big thing Samsung S11 so in this video we're gonna talk about the top 5 best feature of Samsung Galaxy S11 S11 Plus and S11e so let's get started so first of all the display the Samsung Galaxy S11 has a spec ratio 20 by 9 which is a bit longer than we have on Galaxy S10 family in the Note 10 family which is 19 by 9 so basically what this mean is that Samsung is using a bigger screen in S11 family while still keep overall size of phone pretty much the same as S10 family which means the bezel are gonna even more slimmer than the S10 family is already pretty bezel so Samsung also use 90 hazard or 120 hazard spec ratio using a high fresh rate of screen so this means the overall screen is pretty damn good in S11 coming to the next thing is the camera so Samsung Galaxy S11 has a high probably using a new 108 megapixel sensor it has a camera sensor size of 1 inch to 1.33 as you can see the Samsung Galaxy S11 S10 Plus still use a very small sensor 1 to 2.55 which is Samsung used for Galaxy S7. So Huawei Mate 30 Pro which is one of the best camera on the market right now has a sensor size of 1 to 1.55. So overall the camera of Samsung Galaxy S11 is very big a very big improvement in camera department. So also Samsung using a 5x periscope optical zoom lens in Samsung Galaxy S11 series. Now coming to the battery. So Samsung always use very minimum specification of battery capacity in their flagship smartphone but not in this case. So Samsung Galaxy S11 come with very bigger battery. In today tweets Ice New was a very popular twister said in their tweet the Samsung Galaxy S11 E a battery capacity may be reached 4000 mAh battery. From battery share the S11 E battery close to scale which is completely different from S10 E long battery but similar to Note 10 battery which means the Samsung Galaxy S11 E battery could be 4000 mAh. So in this case the Samsung Galaxy S11 Plus model which may be reached 5000 mAh battery. So this also help you in high fresh rate and a 5G connectivity. Moving to the next is the fingerprint sensor. So in S10 family the Samsung use ultrasonic fingerprint sensor which work by bouncing a sonic plus wave of your fingerprint to create a three dimension image much more secure than the optical in displays fingerprint sensor so now in s11 series they use a large area of ultrasonic fingerprint sensor which means the fingerprint sensor work very quickly and very secure so that's really cool so the last thing is the front facing camera in this case the samsung Galaxy s10 series they are very first smartphone which adopt amoled punch hole display and look man they're really cool but the front camera dimension is a little bit so samsung continue the trend of punch hole display in s11 series so in this case the samsung Galaxy s11 series they come with a micro dog front camera that means they use a very small amount of size for front facing camera so that's all guys hope you like this video if you like this video press the like button let me know your thought in the comment section i will catch you next video till then goodbye